guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching my channel, hello, my name is Carly and I make a ton of home organization videos, except I'm going to share with you guys a dirty little secret today. I'm about to shatter any images you guys have of every single room in my house being perfectly organized and put together. If I was into clickbait on YouTube, this video would be titled, This Will Destroy Me. But let's just be real. Every single person either has a closet or a chair or a room where all of their clothes that they don't want to put away go to die. Everyone's got their version of a storage dungeon. Well, my house practically had the room of requirement. There was so much crap in it. I can't believe I'm showing you guys this, but this was our master closet. Absolutely horrifying. If you want to sign us up for hoarders, completely understand. When we moved into our house, that was the closet as is, just the one rack of shelving and hanging space. And we just kind of exploded into there and it never got better. We both were like, enough is enough. We can't live like this. We're not doing this anymore. Gotta change. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the extreme closet transformation and makeover which took it from being the room of requirement to being a Pinterest style closet. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up to let me know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more. Also guys, I'm going to be doing a really fun secret giveaway down below in the description in the comments of this video. So if you guys want to see what the prize is and how to enter, don't forget to check the description. Quick disclaimer, we own the home that we are in currently. We are not renting. So we could utilize installation and construction in our closet makeover. I also have a full video on tips for what to do in rental closets in case you are in an apartment or a house that you're renting and you can't do any kind of permanent work to. I will link that down below in the description for you guys in case you want to watch that video. So let's get into the extreme closet transformation and makeover. The first step in this transformation was getting everything out of that master closet. Okay. I know they're not sparking you joy, Marie Kondo. You don't need to dream my clothes like that. We took all of the clothes that we originally had in there and moved them out into a different room so we could have a completely blank canvas to start with. I would call the second step the demolition phase of the remodel. This was an HGTV show, except the only thing we had to take out was the previous shelving unit in the closet really not that exciting, but it had to go. While Cody was taking the shelving out, I was in the other room actually going through all the clothing that was in our master closet to begin with. I was sorting through everything. I was folding everything. I was trying to decide what I would keep, what I would get rid of, if things even fit me anymore, as well as organizing Cody's stuff. Don't let these clips that are sped up fool you. This process took forever. If you guys saw the before pictures, which you did, you know how much stuff was in there and how bad it was. These clips I had to speed up to 2,000 times the original speed. That's how long it took. That's why my uploads have been so sporadic, guys. I was literally in this room organizing clothes for the last six months of my life. Next step in the process was actually building out our new closet. There are a ton of different options you can use if you want to build your own closet. We ended up going with modular closets. We like that they had pre-designed closet modules that you could pick to work with your space. We also like that they offered free design services so you could send in your measurements and then they could provide you with the design for a closet that would work best for your space. We also love the modular closet units because they are floating units so they really kept the space looking clean and organized because they are up off of the ground which really helped give the illusion of it being more clean and open. We also really liked modular closets because we could do it ourselves because doing it yourself is so much more cost effective than having to pay for installation. Something that really slowed this process down for us was filming it and doing it with the baby and letting the baby film it. All things that took time. Whoa, Bubba! You're so helpful. Uh -huh. Does this mean that my daughter can technically say that she was a vlogger before she turned one? I think so. Once the closet units were installed, I began the process of bringing the clothes back in and organizing them into the closet.
thought I would share with you guys some of the tools I use to fully organize this closet and make it the most functional. I used bins on my side of the closet and utilized the Marie Kondo folding method inside of the bins. So this way I could easily store all of my leggings and all of my jeans on the one shelf instead of having them loosely displayed all over the shelf. This really made the shelving unit look a lot more tidy and clean while also holding a lot more of the products. And when I pull the bins out, I can see everything that's inside of there and quickly grab what I need. Drawer separators make such a huge difference in keeping your drawers clean and keeping them organized. The drawer separators have been a game changer in maintaining the organization of this closet. I put these in right when we set the closet up. I put these drawer separators in right when I first organized the closet and they still look organized to this day because of them. I have all of my hanging clothes on black velvet hangers. I use the exact same hanger for all of my clothes because it really gives off a cleaner look. Everything looks uniform and more polished and the velvet hangers as well take up less space than a traditional hanger. So this is the finished transformation of our closet. This is a shared space between my husband and I and I think this closet looks a million times better than what it started as. I recently did another closet organization video where I went through my actual clothing and tried things on piece by piece. So after that closet clean out and this closet transformation, our house is feeling so much lighter and so much more organized. During the organization process beyond just getting rid of the clothes that didn't fit me, I also sold a bunch of items. I listed some clothing on Poshmark and sold a bunch of those pieces. In case you guys bought something off of my Poshmark, I just wanted to say thank you so much. I hope you love it. You guys are the best. And if you miss those sales, don't worry because I have a couple more coming up. If you're wondering why I have clothes in the master closet I just showed you guys, as well as the clothes that are behind me right now, that master closet is right off of our bedroom in the house. It's right off of our bathroom. So I moved a lot of my like living and house clothes into that closet. That's where a lot of my cardigans are, my leggings, things that I want to be able to throw on first thing when I wake up. Now this closet truly is more of a formal clothing and accessory closet as well as my workspace and my office. My husband and I both have an office in this house. I just choose to make mine an overflow closet where I keep my shoes and my accessories and my clothes. Isn't that every girl's dream? Isn't that why you want to get a house? adulting at its finest. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up to let me know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more. Also, make sure to check the description for my secret giveaway, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!